people often ask me, how do I keep motivated and uh, how do I keep my spirits up? Well, you know, I have to be honest and say they're not always up. And uh, there are times when motivation is very difficult. But I guess there's two answers. One is that, uh, that things are, are moving forward instead of backwards. That this is not 1960s. Uh, it's past the year 2000 and we are in a state of uh, really uh, of advances in medicine that really were unthinkable. And I, I guess in the actual basis for uh, my ability to keep my spirits up is that uh, I think every neuroscientist in the world if you lined them all up and asked them the same question, can the spinal cord be repaired? They'd say yes. So I'm, I'm living at this time instead of another time. And then if you'd ask me the same question if I was injured in 1960, well, first of all, I wouldn't be alive to answer the question. But I certainly wouldn't have my spirits up uh, because I'd be facing a life of really no hope whatsoever. Um, so timing is everything. Um, but um, beyond that, I, I think that uh, I'm in a, a very unique position um, because I was well known before the accident and because I have a lifetime of self-discipline that comes from working as an actor in theater and films, uh, that's a, you know, a profession where you've got to give your all, uh, whether you feel like it or not. Um, it's a, it's a line of work where there's a lot of rejection. And when you're first starting out, you might get, uh, one job and 20 auditions, but you still have to believe in yourself. So I, I learned that over 28 years. Um, and fortunately, I was successful, but uh, it's, a, it's a precarious living anyway. Um, and so I think I have a core of self-discipline that helps. And I have uh, the luck of being able to talk to the media, to talk to scientists, to get information that makes me, uh, puts me in the loop so I know what scientists are doing. Uh, the average patient doesn't have that. Um, and I run a foundation that is able to help people now with quality of life grants and by funding the best research in the world. So, uh, all these are, are positive steps that I can take and I think that you know when, when uh, really you're in trouble you know when you're when you're facing a tough situation um, the most disabling thing about being disabled is a feeling of hopelessness that you can't make any difference and that your situation won't change unfortunately that's not my state of mind. That's not where I'm at. And I, I'm, I'm just very lucky because uh, I know other people who even today just have given up. But I have no reason to give up. And uh, fortunately, I'm, I'm seeing improvement. I'm seeing benefits. I'm seeing changes. And I'm also... Uh, I'm able to, to work. I mean, I've moved into directing, wrote a book, I give speeches, I travel. Um, so all these things are, are really privileges I'm, that I'm very grateful for. But, um, you know, in between all that, though, I have to admit that keeping really busy is... Uh, 
is crucial because otherwise in between there are those moments when I go, man, how would this happen? And I don't care about all this noble stuff. I want it back. So I want my life back, you know. And uh, then I get mad at myself for being self-pitying. But sometimes I get so jealous, just literally, literally seeing somebody get up out of a chair and walk across the room. And I know they're not even thinking about it, but I'm watching and going. God, how did it happen? I can't even do that. I mean, how how can this be my life? And I, that happens. That happens to me. Uh, so then I try to pull it together and think about, all right, what do I have to do today? What do I have to do tomorrow? And... Uh, the only way to deal with it is always to look forward. And the past will keep catching up. You know, it always intrudes, it always tries to. I know it's even trying to intrude today on the sixth anniversary of my accident, but I'm not going to let it. I'm just going to have to not let it. Because you can spend your whole life, whether you're disabled or not, going would have, could have, should have, and that's a dead end. 